Hi, this is Taj Mahal, and you're plugged into guitar.com. What you're listening to right there is a um, kind of swamp blues old style which is associated with people like Skip James and cats that come from lower Mississippi and Louisiana and a lot of this style can be traced directly back to uh, earlier styles in Mali and Senegal and Gambia and, and Guinea and West Africa the sort of walking pace of the, the music and the fact that you never it never moves any faster than it's supposed to go and it allows the notes to ring out and if you notice that the, my style of playing i have lots of different various different styles of playing but sometimes i am using my the inside palm of my hand to dampen the notes on the bottom so that they don't ring but the top notes ring and um uh that's why I like this particular style. This tune is um, uh, Catfish Blues. Baby, now I wish I was a catfish swimming in the deep blue sea. I'd have all you good looking women you know, swimming after me swimming after me swimming after me and you notice uh, I have my hand set so the low notes are bouncing Let's see if I want to open it I want sustain out of these notes. And if I want to take off and play a bunch of notes, so on the side I can. And still sustain the rhythm and time that I have. the instrument to speak talk to you relax you could play it all day and the longer you played it the closer you got to the depth of real music it's a slow dance called a slow drag that's where this time goes a walk or a slow strut
Also with the, the left hand, you notice that I'm not making a, a regular three chorded E chord or even making any seventh. I'm playing what I call the country E, which I notice that a lot of older blues players play. They play it with two fingers right here. Same old E, but you just take these two fingers and you don't and you mute this A string until you need it. And now I need it. That way it allows the instrument to continue to ring and just keep ringing and ringing and moving and walking and ringing. Um, oftentimes um, um, musicians uh, try to think that uh, you can get a pattern, uh, pattern blues. I, I was uh, reading uh, some quotes from a wonderful musician that I love his music, uh, a little brother Montgomery who's a piano player and uh, he uh, always was saying that one of the things that nobody was writing blues songs anymore, everybody was playing blues patterns and the, temp the temptation to do that is that's a quick fix on trying to get there early uh, to, to being able to play the music. The first thing is that it's dance music, it is about a story, it is about uh, an event, it's about the situation, it's about uh, things that have happened to people and you have to move them at the time and tempo that it takes for you to choose the notes that you want to play and how you want to deal with it. Now that's the more country style, open style like that. We'll move right now to a style that most people have um, played or heard or are interested in playing. You hear this awful lot on commercials, on uh, uh, television and radio and the temptation is to get some guy who claims he knows blues and, and then play some patterns. Now we're going to take some patterns or that you were get used to hearing and we'll see how we can make it sound more like music. All right. First of all, these are more of some of the earlier types of stuff that I, I learned to play. Actually, my, one of the first pieces I learned how to play was the steady, steady play, was they say play bass chords behind somebody who could run lines up on the front. So let's play it. Well, I love you, pretty baby. Honey, now you know your papa does. Well, you know I love you, pretty baby. Honey, now you know your daddy do. Do anything. Honey, get along with you. Now, you notice, I'm answering myself on the instrument just to keep the rhythm picked up. Now anybody standing around anywhere near that is going to pick up the rhythm to what that's all about. Again, it's dance music. It's not the idea that you can, I'm not playing a piece that uh, when I play this everybody moves around because I've got it all set up. This, this happens every single time. Look it out for the possibility of improvising just like in jazz. You know, maybe not as uh, to the same extent as somebody, you know, playing a saxophone or something like that in this style of music but particularly when you're trying to play to learn to play blues the temptation is to not know how to muffle the notes so you get that more percussive attack on it on the instrument without having a hit on it you know if you want to pull on it like it you can get that 
that, but listening for that sound, because it's got to be working. It's got to be working. This music was designed and put together by people who worked hard. And then one of the things about working hard was that they didn't want to work that hard, but they brought that drive to the music when people danced, because the type of people who danced to it also worked hard. You know, it's just like you can't just let it float through your head without sitting down with it. But anyway, let's take this first piece we started uh, we started with. <laughs> notice is that the five chord now you can play the absolute five or you can play what I call the Jimmy Reed five which is an A against the B so we're gonna play from one four one and then back to five four one check it out try to play this music and they don't grab a hold of the subtlety the, the subtleness of it and and the dance of it I like it when I'm playing it I'm dancing that's what I'm doing on the strings I'm dancing I'm feeling it physically if I can't feel that I'm not not just tapping my foot I'm feeling it move me you know <laughs> another thing you might be interested in uh, is ways of playing a blues with uh, uh, and um, and dropping your D string your E string down to D and oftentimes people are playing the barred A chords you know tend not to play very many of those at all. I tend to make my own chords up or chord shapes up for the sounds I want and the strings to ring. Okay, instruments open and we're going to take an A blues. Now watch the introduction here. Okay, this is another thing. That dampened 
low string to give you that walking feeling. Just walking the blues down the line, and by by not playing the, the A seven in this position, or this, but using using both of these, this A seven, this A seven, but more properly using this. It's like a D chord, but you slide it up in the middle of the strings like this. making use of all of that Robert Johnson information. Kind of like piano, piano roll blues.